This is a true whopper. I'll try and get the whole thing into the camera image. That's it. It's a massive new publication called The History of Information Graphics. It's 24 centimeters by 37 and a half tall with 462 color indexed pages. And I, let me explain what this is. It's cartographers, programmers, statisticians, designers, scientists, journalists have developed a new field of expertise in visualizing knowledge. So we've always had graphs and statistics, but now it really has gone on to a new realm with computer graphics and so on. And our friends at Tashin have created this extraordinary visual catalog. So here, for example, is a map of Shoreditch and it's a historical pictorial guide on how to visit the ruins in Shoreditch, very close to where I am here at Bibliophile Books in the East End of London. Here is the Atlas Catalan which is a, a, a codex on, uh, from the Middle Ages on parchment. Here is the human body as they saw it in the Middle Ages and medical treatises from, from olden times. Maps and how we saw data through maps. And here is a rather spectacular gatefold. So I'll try and carefully open these pages up. It's universal cosmography. It's the map of Cantino a key work of scientific geography and that dates from around 1500. That's one of several spectacular gatefolds. As you can see there's another one here, gatefolded. So the two sides fold right out. It's very difficult to show you this, not to damage the book. That is a map of Greenland in four parts and folded inside. There's a map of the moon. Mm. Cabinet of Natural Curiosities map of Saxony and the text of this is in English, German and French. There are medical treatises, medieval manuscripts, department maps of France, population maps, man and machines. It is one of the most appealing coffee table books you are ever likely to see. It's brand new from Tasha and Publishers and buy it from bibliophilebooks.com and mail order. History of Information Graphics, £50.